So we have created purchase order with BAPI method in LSMW. Three points I kept pending. That is create order of a multiple purchase order. We have tried only one purchase order, but in real time scenario, we will be required to upload the mass data. Second, the conversion exists. Like when I create Excel file, I have added number with the lead, uh, leading zero, but in real time not possible to maintain the leading zero for vendor as well as for the materials. And third point, like even though I was passing the price from my Excel file, from a text file, but system was taking the info record. So this three issue will, uh, these three points we'll see in this session. So first we'll add a conversion exist in the LSMW and a third point. Then we'll go first one. Okay. So how to add a conversion exist? Go to our LSMW. Here in the maintain field mapping and the conversion rule execute. So what is the requirement here for the vendor? Here, I want to add conversion exist. So for that, we have to add a rule. Very simple. Just press the cursor on the field and click on rule. Here we can see move with leading zero. If we add this rule, so we can see the function model which we use generally in the web program for conversion exist alpha input that get called here. So even if the input we don't have leading zero which we have maintained in the Excel earlier, that is not required. Okay, so like this, same we have to add for the material. Go for the material, put the cursor on the material field, click on rule, move with leading zero, enter. Similarly, for the PU or Anderson material, which is also same field of the material, rule, move the leading zero. So in this way, we can add the standard rule to a field. So this is for the second steps, that is conversion exists alpha input. For third one, what happened when we are passing the date, uh, price from the text file, but system was taking the info record price that was default 10 rupees. So requirement is whatever price we pass from the file, PO should get created with that price instead of info record. For that, in the same structure, there is one field called PO underscore price. If you search for PO underscore price, put a cursor here and click on constant. Now here you can see a F4. The field name is adopt price. Yes, adopt price means adopt the price from the text file. If this is blank, system will take the info record. Okay, so if you want do not use info record, then we have to pass X in this field. Okay, this is the field PO price pass X. If we want to create the PO with the price which we are passing from text file. If you want info record to be follow, this should be blank. So this is the third step. Now we have created only single PO. Okay. So my text file was in the header record. I had only single PO one. And for this record, I had this item data. Okay. Now what we'll do, we'll create multiple purchase order. Like at the same time, we will create the multiple purchase order. So what is the uh, method for that? How to do that? If you remember in the source field, we have one additional field. The name as PO number, which is not a purchase order number. For our reference, I have added that field. So how to maintain the file for multiple purchase order? In the header table, first forget about item table. First, create the header table with multiple line items. Let's say I want to create three purchase order. So line number one, two, and three with the data like PO type, company code, purchase organization, purchasing group, and the vendor number. 
and then for each header suppose for line number one this is the first PO I have two line item so in the item table with the same first indicator with one we have to maintain the material details if for first item I have two line item one will repeat two times like 10 20 line item 10 line item 20 for second purchase order that is order number two again repeat the line item with first indicator as two like this we have to maintain the header and item data okay so we'll go to our text file here so what i'm doing here now this time i don't have leading zero i have removed that this is my first purchase order this is my second and this is my third here give the number two three okay so i have three header record close this now go to item details here for the first po i have to line item now what i will do just copy as it is for second po i am creating only single line okay line item 10 for the third one i will be creating three let me change the quantity here this is the uh, price i am putting 15 rupees and here 25 rupees okay i am repeating the first line again item number 30 and here i am making the price as 35 and my quantity will be let's say the quantity i am putting as 75 rupees okay for purchase order 1 i am creating with two line item purchase order 2 i am creating with only single line item and pure number 3 i am creating with three line item so as I have added the conversion exists for the vendor and the material. As a practice, you try for the dead field. Okay, dead field I am not changing, I am keeping as it is. So you can do it as a practice. Add the conversion rule for dead field. Okay, save. So this is my item and this is my header. Okay, this time system should create three purchase orders. Save go back specify files we already have the file name here so we can continue with that only we have header as well as item so no need to change if you want to change double click and add the new file first remove this by deleting add the new file okay let me delete so we we'll don't don't get confused now add the, both the files first we'll add the header one from desktop that is header let's say header data for PO data for one table tabulator enter now create the another one that is the item one select the item details tabulator no change line items enter save and go back assign file execute so the header file will be with the name header and item file will be go to assignment and select line item save and go back read the data this will read the text file you can see here the three header items and the six line items go back display read data so we can see the text file data first PO is having the two line items second is having only one the third PO is having the three line items so this is the data which is read from text file now convert data this will convert to the internal format go back display converted data enter open any one record now here if you see in our text file we have not passed leading zero but 
as we have added the conversion exists that rule the system has added the leading zero for the vendor similarly check one line item so you can see for the line item material system has added the leading zero okay Let's start add out generation execute press enter Let's start add out processing execute so i have some announcement in my session so that debugger is getting open let me remove the debugger for each purchase order it will get repeat this is the first po processing this is the second po system should get three purchase order as per the details which i have given executed let me remove this effect now you can see the all in green color with the idoc status 53 that is system has successfully posted document the idoc number are 2159 2160 and 2161 how to check the purchase order number just go back and go to next step create idoc overview execute execute we can see three idoc number double click on the first one application document posted here we can see the data this is the header data this is the item details that is ekpo the material number and the schedule okay in the ekpo you can see this time the price from our text file that is 20 rupees earlier by default it was creating po with 10 rupees now the po number is created 14867 go to me 23n 67 the first po you can see first po with line item 10 and 20 the quantity was 150 and the price is 10 and 20 cross check this that is reconcile with our text file the first po with two line item price was 10 20 quantity was 150 Similarly, check the second PO. It will be in sequence only. That is the next number. We can see the next purchase order number is sixty-eight, and third one will be sixty-nine. Okay, the so three PO created sixty-seven, sixty-eight, and sixty-nine. First one we will check. Check for second one. In second, we pass only one line item with the quantity hundred, price was ten. For third one, we have passed three line item. You can see line item one, two, and three. The quantity was hundred, one fifty, seventy five, and the price was fifteen, twenty five, and thirty five. Cross check with the text file. Third one, fifteen, twenty five, thirty five. The price. And the hundred one fifty and seventy five are the quantity. Okay, so this is the concept for creating the multiple purchase order in one go. But for initial setup, initial testing, first do the creation of single PO. Once everything is fine, then upload the actual data in the PRD system. Okay, so in this way we are done with the uh, three remaining parts: creation of multiple PO, alpha exit. Pricing indicator for the PO creation using SMW Bappy method. So in this way, we are done with this session. Thank you.